You want to know what the one of the loneliest things about life? Life. It comes and goes. That's why I'm surprised and just saddened. And I and I get why they're doing it. Like the Kwamites, they have nothing better to do. That's the best thing in their life is taking up for that man. That makes them feel like they're a part of something. That makes them feel like they have a life. Even if that life is to defend somebody online, not even defend somebody they actually know. Because to them, defending that guy online is actually safer, emotionally safer than anything else. Trying to offend you takes them away from what they're actually going through. You don't ever get a chance to live life like that. Somebody came and told me today on my picture, still they keep coming there. And they said, Kwame Brown has more viewers than you. Yes. Also Kwame Brown's taller than me. Also Kwame Brown's younger than me. Also Kwame Brown lives in a different house than me. But where do you factor in this equation? I have to keep asking that. And what's sad is none of them think about it and say to themselves, I'm bragging, trying to put one man down by big upping another man. Not me. I put Conor McGregor down by bigging up Dustin Poirier. I get into an argument with Conor McGregor because I'm such a Dustin Poirier fan that I not only go around with Conor McGregor, who they both got paid for this fight, who they both are known, and I am not, but because I love Dustin Poirier so much, I'm going to constantly with Conor McGregor and hope he sees what I write. And if Conor McGregor fights Poirier and beats him again, or beats him next time, I'm still going to talk because it doesn't matter what I saw. This other person came over and said, Kwame Brown averages 150,000 views per video. You're a nobody. And of course they put wow you are. How can I be a nobody when this person knows Kwame, this person knows me, this person loaded up to go and argue the merits of Kwame Brown, but I don't know him and Kwame doesn't know him. Which one of us is actually irrelevant? Ladies and gentlemen, make sure you hit that like. It's 12.45 in the morning. We're about to have a little bit of fun. We're going to have some fun. Now, the Kwame Brown fans who are thumbs down in my video, let me point something out to you. But we know facts don't matter to you and common sense don't matter to you. Many of you kept making videos saying, why are you talking about Kwame Brown? He doesn't even talk about you anymore. Kwame Brown is currently talking about Stephen A. Smith. Again, Stephen A. Smith says nothing about him anymore. Kwame Brown has said several things about me. So my question is, if, if you don't mind, my question is, why is it that no matter how many times he makes videos about Stephen A. Smith, you don't tell him to move on? Thank you, Evelyn. Evelyn threw $10, $10 at your boy. Why is it you do not tell him to move on? Why is it you don't write in his comment section, Stephen A. Smith doesn't even say anything about you? Why is it you don't say Stephen A. Smith makes $10 million a year, sir? So you can't talk money to Stephen A. Smith, can you? Stephen A. Smith makes over $10 million per year. Stephen A. Smith has amassed more money over his lifetime than Kwame Brown, who played in the league. These are all facts. These are all facts. 
So for some odd reason, you don't get to throw up in Kwame's face that Stephen A. Smith is richer than him. You don't get to throw up in Kwame's face that Stephen A. Smith had a more important name in basketball and didn't play basketball than he did, and he was the number one pick. You don't throw up any of these things in his face that you throw up in my face. You don't throw up that he must have been jealous because he's on YouTube and the others on network television. One's covering the NBA Finals. The other one's just waiting to have something to say about it. We make up rules as we go and they're never really fair. They're just rules we make up because we don't like one person and we like the other one. My video where I did my little, my, my six hour show. He doesn't talk, he's talking about, you just find new things. It's six hours. He hasn't said anything about you in two weeks. Well, he said something about me on this show. Both of them said something about me on the show. What made this show funny? is that you got two people who did the same thing. Both of them started off saying that they were here to do something. They got some attention. They went away from what they claimed they were there to do and kept doing everything that they claimed they were going after other people for doing.